Hello, I'm Natalie Fund, a certified nutritional therapist practitioner. I just forgot a really great question from a friend who had watched a few of my videos and was hoping I could uh, tell you guys more about um, how to clear up your skin um, and how to identify allergens that might be causing the inflammation. Um, it is a very loaded question and uh, the right answer looks different for every person. So um, basically, the first step is to take an honest look at your digestion. And I put together a short list of, um, there's actually a, a plethora of symptoms that could be telling you that there's something wrong in your digestion. Um, but most people do experience these to some degree. So I'm going to read from this list and um, just kind of think about if any of these are something that you're dealing with at all. Um, if you have bloating. <laughs> um, and some people might be living with bloating and not even realize that it's bloating. You might just think that you have a gigantic stomach. You might not have a stomach that's that, that big, so there you go. <laughs> um, if you're gassy, like, you know, tooting and farting and stuff. But that can also just be like when things are moving around, like that's another part of bloating. Um, constipation or diarrhea, um, either of those. If you tend to be on the constipated side, you tend to have diarrhea, or if they're alternating, some of you have been diagnosed with IBS, um, any of those problems, or black stool, <laughs> pretty much any poop that is not like a perfect kind of a dark brown that floats in the water, not on top and doesn't sink, um, Pretty much any poop other than that means that there's an issue in your digestion. Um, if you suffer from um, airborne or food allergies, there's probably something going on wrong in your digestion. Uh, if you have cravings for bread or noodles, if you have asthma problems or sinus problems, uh, if you tend to feel spacey or unreal, I remember that was one of my biggest symptoms. Um, when I was in high school and in my early 20s, I remember like, uh, driving or I guess high school I wasn't driving yet but um, later at some point I remember thinking like the world around me doesn't it, it feels like I'm in a dream that can't be normal um, and sure enough it wasn't normal <laughs> that was part of adrenal fatigue um, it's actually a really huge problem and I probably wasn't safe to drive so how many people do you think are out there driving like that Yeek. Um, if you have a thick white coating on your tongue I have a small coating on my tongue. My digestion isn't perfect either, so keep that in mind. Um, if you have yeast symptoms, that can be um, you know, vaginal, it can be in your mouth, it can be in your armpits, you could suffer from rashes, um, or it could be just coming out in your acne. I know I tend to have an excessive yeast problem and that comes out in my acne. So um, and the last one that I wanted to point out was dark circles under the eyes, which is a huge problem and everyone is always trying to get rid of those and you know you're like oh I ate healthy oh I put cucumber on my eyes <laughs> didn't go away but that actually just has a lot to do with whether or not you're absorbing nutrients so first up is repair your digestion and how do you do that um, you've got to cut out sugar and unnecessary processed carbohydrates that would be the biggest recommendation if you are a soda drinker or you know like a flavored latte drinker those things have got to go out the door Red Bulls on. <laughs> uh, none of those things are going to be beneficial in the process of aiding your digestion. Um, and then processed foods in general. Uh, you just want to be drinking water and you want to be eating as many whole foods as you can fit into your diet. Um, let's see. So if you, if you have an idea, you know, my friend was saying that she'd cut out dairy. If you think that dairy or gluten or eggs or whatever is the problem, Experiment with cutting those out. Try, try your best, but just know that it's not going to be an overnight change. You might notice a little bit less bloating, but if your intestines are destroyed, which mine were completely destroyed by the time I knew I was allergic to dairy, you're gonna have years ahead of you of repairing your digestion. I am still working on repairing my digestion. Um, one of the, the biggest um, helpful things I did was a friend who was a nutritional therapist put me on a few supplements. I went on hydrochloric acid, which basically um, helps your, your stomach to digest right here in the stomach. And then I went on intestinal toners and healers that were basically, um, you know, among other things, it was a really mild laxative to get things moving, but then also to tone and heal my intestinal tract. So um, without those two, I think 
I would still be a little lost. I might be better than I was, but I would not be at the level that I'm at now. Um, so if you can meet with a nutritional therapist or a naturopath and try to get on supplements of that nature, I highly recommend it. Um, let's see, other ways to stimulate your stomach acid is uh, by starting your day out with a warm, not hot, but not lukewarm in between lemon water and I'm talking like half a lemon you really want it bitter um, the more like pungent and bitter things are that make you pucker that's gonna stimulate your stomach acid and I'll post a link to my blog where I talked about um, stomach acid a little bit more another way to stimulate stomach acid is by consuming apple cider vinegar and uh, currently the only brand I know of that I would trust to recommend is Bragg's apple cider vinegar it is the highest quality um, so yeah, sprinkle that on your salads. The, there's a recipe on the bottle for a beverage that they call delicious. I disagree with that, um, and I personally would not consume it because I think it's disgusting. But um, try and add it to salads. It's really great for dressings, in my opinion, and um, that will definitely help with digestion. So, um, the other thing is, like, really you have to take a look at what your intention is. Um, you know, in my other videos, I talk a lot about your intention for um, loving your body and your intention for the earth. And you really have to, like, make it a goal to let your intention be to heal. <laughs> um, which sounds a little bit silly and cheesy, but it's true. Because if you're a person who's always down on yourself and, oh, my acne will never go away, oh, I'm too fat, I'm too bloated, you're right. Um, there's like that old like athletic slogan <laughs> we had up on my gymnastics wall. Whether you can or you, uh, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. And that is so true in so many aspects of life, um, particularly this one. Definitely, you have to believe in yourself. You have to believe that you are correct in choosing. You know, the holistic lifestyle. <laughs> A lot of people will think that you're different, and you really have to believe in yourself. Um, and feel confident about the choices that you're making for you in private and um, also when you're in public. Um, yeah, the, the last thing I wanted to leave you with is just to be patient. It does take a long time to repair your digestive system. Just like I said, you know, I'm, I still only recently discovered my allergy to um, oranges and my skin has cleared up drastically since then. Um, but your body is really funny and tends to like pick one thing for you to work on at a time. So you'll notice an improvement and then at some point there might be another issue that your body brings up for you to work on. Not looking forward to the next thing that is for me, but unfortunately that's just the way it is. Um, so yeah, just be patient with yourself. And then um, last, I, another last thing is the book Eat Right for Your Blood Type it can be really beneficial and um, outlining some foods that may be affecting you poorly. Um, I would say that it's not 100% on, but um, there are definitely a few foods that I need to avoid that were on that list. So go ahead and give that a read through, and then in the end, weigh on yourself and your own heritage and what your own ancestors would have been eating, because I think that is the most important lesson in the book. All right, hope that was helpful, and feel free to ask questions, share this with your friends. Thank you. Bye.